Welcome to part 3 of this 4 part tutorial of how a magnet media video is edited. I'm gonna get the first image in this composition. So I'm gonna come here on my assets and I'm going to look for the car. So I'm going to extend this a bit because I want you to start from this point, okay? But now I don't need to have these guys on. Let me just use this and then shy them out. So now the beetle, first and foremost, I'm gonna reduce the size of the beetle a bunch. So now this beetle guy, you know, it's not the color which it is supposed to be. So first of all, I'm going to make it black and white. So it's going to be black and white. And then I'm going to apply a levels adjustment layer. Levels. So for the levels, so this is going to be 61. It's going to be 170. And then uh, this is going to be 1.39. One point, uh, 1 and now I'm going to remember I am trying to reduce it. I want it to be in this corner. Okay. So it being in this corner makes sense to me. And then I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Let's say, yeah, that's the drop shadow. It's going to be below this. And I think it would be better to be like at opacity 80. Make the distance 70. 70. And also make the softness mm, let's say one three four yeah i know you can't see it but you will see it later because okay now what we have in the background is a bit you know washed out but now what we could do i'm gonna add a layer a red layer actually let's say a red solid and just say red the color is gonna be red and i'm gonna move it down here I'm gonna create a circle and then I'm going to bring my point here and then I'm gonna increase it but then as I'm increasing it I'm gonna hold control and then hold shift so when I uh, reach a point like this I'm going to make it just wide something like that I'm releasing I released shift okay so now I'm going to feather by pressing F and then I feather it a bunch, you know, and then I'm going to reduce the size also holding shift and control. Now it's just a red thing like, you know, I want it to create that effect on the background. So I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. Uh, I don't know, you can see it is because you see when we come back, we're going to go on our background. You see on our background, we it's too dark. Okay. So now I'm going to come here. On the background i'm gonna add levels levels okay add a levels adjustment layer and then let's increase it slightly a bit you get now it's slightly increased let me first hide this and see does it affect the rest of the parts you know what i think it's better to just leave it like that yeah i think let's increase it slightly a bit like the way you're seeing it here and also you know what let me let me increase this guy a bit Cool. So let's go back to the Volkswagen. Now, um, the next part is putting something here. So I remember what we did in part one. So we're gonna put a shape here, a box like this. But then this box, it don't have to be having a stroke. It's just going to be a fill. And I want it to be a white fill. Cool. So now I'm gonna use this exact font we used there. So let's say this is Zoomy. So we're gonna give it some space and then we're gonna make it red okay let's put this anchor point in the center okay you know what let me let me also move it slightly up i'm gonna go back to the project and then come here and go to the pre-comps you remember what we did with this savings booklet i'm gonna copy this thing and then i'm gonna create another volks word animation yeah i guess but I want it to be 1920 by 1080. 80, 30 seconds, great. So I'm gonna paste it here. So for this one, I'm going to let it start from the beginning. So now we're gonna say, ever got their Volks wagon. So now I'm gonna highlight this. After highlighting that, I'm gonna come here on the fill and I'm gonna change the color. So now I'm gonna get these. So I'm gonna come back here in my video and then I'm gonna look for this word animation and bring it somewhere down here. Okay. So now I could just place it here. 
so you you have you have to be controlled by this nice okay now all these they have to be 3d objects okay let's switch toggle switches and then you get all the 3d things and then i'm going to open up the second view to be seeing them okay this is like the top all right now the car the car for it is going to be at the front for our front so i'm going to pull the car towards the front but now i don't want it to be so big let's reduce it the size and i'm gonna extend it to somehow up there yeah so i think that's better and also i need to extend it inwards so i'm going to get this you know the nun shape and then i'm gonna move it also forward and it's gonna be bigger it's gonna be at the it's gonna be for front okay that's better that's beta and then the word can be behind the reason why i'm doing this is like i want it to be on different planes so that if we apply our animation you'll see all the entire animation you'll see them showing that they're not the same plane okay but then the perfectionist in me feels like i need to put a drop shadow or i need to come up with a way to show that this thing drops a shadow out down there so I'm gonna do this. I know it's not in the original video, but then I'm just gonna do it nonetheless, okay? So I'm gonna duplicate this guy, you see? And then after that, I'm gonna flip it vertically and then I'm going to drag it until you see these parts align, okay? Like the wheels, yeah? Let's come here, close. You know what, let's get rid of these two views. And now since it's the reflection, I'm going to apply an effect. You know, like when I come here, I'm going to delete most of the effects because I don't think I need most of them. I don't think I even need any of them. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to do fill. So when I apply fill, you see fill, it's red, but I want it black because it's a shadow. So now that's done. After that, you know what? Let me solo, solo these two, you know, solo by pressing this tick. I'm going to highlight everything and then I'll place this small dot. Now they're soloed. Now I'm going to bring, to do this to bring the transparency back. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to come here and I'm gonna add Gaussian Blur. So Gaussian Blur is gonna be like giving me that blurriness, okay? The shadow has to be blurry. It can't be sharp. Okay, something like that. And then the last thing it is going to be, so we're gonna click on it and then we're gonna create a mask. So when you create a mask like this, now we can use feather to feather it a bunch. So now when we come like this, move this one down, you'll see that it's now creating a good shadow. Okay. So now when we bring the rest of the guys, I know you won't see these. I'm a perfectionist and I feel like I would sleep well at night when I have it there. So better. But now since these are the same, I'm going to parent them together. Okay. But now that we have done most of the things, I think it's now better to pull everything to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so you what? You have to be here, and you 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 have to be here. Yeah, cutting you. Okay, this thing animates actually. It starts like it zooms out. Okay, so when it is zooming out, should we use a camera instead? I do feel like it's better to just use a null object fine this is a 3d object but then i do prefer to use an null object to animate them okay so now i'm gonna open up a new null object and i'm gonna bring it into my composition and then i'm gonna cut it from where i want it to start animating and then just put air put something here like position keyframe but now i'm gonna make it 3d and um you know everything which is parented to the other i'm going to leave it i'm going to parent things which are par uh, which are moving the other all right that makes more sense i think and then none of the words it's gonna also come here both animation yeah i guess you also need to move it's uh, this is where the animation is going to stop okay so i'm gonna put it exactly here because i want it to look like this when it reaches this point so oh maybe i could reduce it a bit and then come here move it so close to the camera here i think it would be better to just have these things easy easing something like that yeah let's say give from assistant and then i'm just gonna say 
No, I don't want it to completely go to rest. I want it to gradually reduce, but then I want it to start a bit faster, somewhere like that. So I want it to start a bit faster as it is moving backwards, okay? It's not traveling a bigger distance, or the distance is not that long, but I think it's better like that. This is like the animator. Let me call this the animator. Let's go to the account or assets, and then you're gonna look for the coin. So I'm gonna bring the coin and put it here, but now I think the animator is gonna control all the animation, so I think it's better to have it uh, below it. And now, let me just make you like this. Um, the coin should have like tint, okay, or black and white, but I think let's use tint. Let's use tint and uh, camera lens blur. And then afterwards, we will make this zero, yeah. We're not going to animate it yet. Okay, the scale of the coin should be like 45. Yeah, I guess I like it like that. So I'm going to duplicate this coin. But then the way I'm duplicating it, I'm going to hold Ctrl Shift D so that it cuts it and then it creates it on the next line, okay? So but I'm going to move these ones below, okay? So this is like a full coin. And now this is going to be like the coins which are going to be breaking, okay? So now I'm going to say this one comes from this, like this. I'm using a pen tool to make this crack, okay? And then I'm going to finish up the entire boundary, like that. So it is gonna cut it. But now, because we need two parts, I'm gonna duplicate this, and then I'll invert, or I'll either say subtract, or invert. So this is the time where they, they start. So I'm gonna go and press P. But remember, these are 3D objects, so basically I'm gonna have to highlight these and make them into 3D objects. But yes, I know the problem is they are now in front of the car. But now I'm going to first solo this yeah, behind the car. Rather. So now I'm going to press these ones which are below and then press P to reveal the positions. And then I'm going to create keyframes for where they are at, at that very moment. So this one is going to move. You know what? I think that's so far. I think 50 will do for me. And this one, it is going to be plus 50. So now I'm going to highlight these guys, <clears throat> make them easy ease. I'm going to go into the graph editor and then say, let me highlight both of them. But this one can start very fast because it's like breaking up. Yeah, that's better. But now I want to mimic something like a shock wave, something like shocking, you understand? So what I'm going to do first, like I want it to, to be like there was some bit of wiggle, you know, as it was breaking something happened so now what i'm gonna do first i'm going to come here and just um now object we're gonna trim it it's gonna start from this point and then end on this point i'm going to just move this one slightly above and then i'm gonna con con create another null object okay so this null object is going to be like the entire null object which is, which is going to control all the coins you know these coins Okay, it's one coin, but then I've broken it down because it is animated and it can only be possible if we are having them in two, in different points, different parts rather. So now I'm going to get this and I'm going to parent all these coins. Let me also make this one 3D and then I'm parent these ones to it. Okay, so this is going to be like the coin control. I'm going to still parent this coin control to this now object. This now object is going to be named Wiggle. And I'm going to add an effect called slider control. So this is going to make it shake at a certain point, okay? So now I'm going to come down here. The reason why I'm leaving it 2D is because I want only animate two axes, the X and the Y axis. That's all I want to animate, okay? So now I'm going to come here in uh, transformation and then look for position. I alt click on the position and then we go into brackets. I'm going to pip whip to this one, okay? And then I'm going to comma. I'm gonna say five. So amplitude is gonna stay the same and um, frequency is gonna change, all right? So now I'm going to close this. Now the rest, the, the only thing that I'm going to animate is gonna be this one, not anything below here. So by the time it breaks, it is going to be five. I want it to be five when it breaks, okay? So now before it breaks though, it's going to be zero, okay? And now I'm going to bring it forward and also do the same thing and it's gonna go to zero, okay? So it's just going to shake for a while. So now that's uh, that's it for the coin. So we're going to look for the animator for the coin controller. 
coin controller is here we are going to put a keyframe for rotation so we're gonna say rotation it is going to be at zero let's see this is gonna be like 30 so now but as it goes it's gonna be zero i think this is the exact point where it breaks okay so it's not in the original design but sometimes i, I like to do things the way i feel like they look better and that's why i decided to do that okay but now uh based on this i'm going to make this easy ease or you can just press f9 we're gonna come here and do something like that and leave the other side like the way it is okay i don't want it to be like that i would however make it minus okay so like that but the way it comes in i don't like the way it comes in it is not going to start when it's completely on okay so i'm going to try to also animate the opacity so it starts uh, let's say transform tra transparency which is deep so i'm going to start when it is zero and as it is rotating it keeps on coming in okay let's say when we come here we'll just say blur radius is going to be on 20 20 and then as it goes up to the end it gets to zero okay so it just shows like maybe is it like it, it is getting into focus or something like that and then this one happens so but these two i don't think these two need the blur yeah i don't think they do need it because it's already applied on the first one yeah so if we come here on the controller and call it like let's say 70 70 is the sweet spot okay now let's bring back the rest so position and forward we go so what i'm gonna say i'm just what i'm gonna do i'm going to get a an adjustment layer and then i'm gonna put it below here it's actually going to be starting from this point and like that and then i'm going to add something like let's say this is going to be camera lens blur so it's going to blur everything which is below okay the way to do it i'm going to bring it at the start and then i just put the blurriness to zero okay and as it is moving towards the this side or as the coin is coming into focus the car is going out of focus the kind of everything in the background they're going out of focus and also i think it would make more sense if i am to add um tint okay so this tint effect is going to help me let me also make this is this one black so you're going to understand how this goes so i'm going to start at the start tint i want this to be at zero okay so because as it is going in the background it i want it to be like getting like you know somehow darker Okay, that's too dark let's just use 40 30 yeah 30 great you get so now it is like that so i'm gonna call this one pre-composition rather i'm gonna call this uh rack focus so it rack focuses like when this is getting into focus the other one is getting out of focus view wait i didn't animate that blurriness damn sorry this is going to start when it's 20 and as it approaches the end it will be zero okay so you understand like now it is in focus and now this one is going in focus and this one is going out of focus so cool that's it for the second part so now let's uh, do what we've been doing for the rest of the work so pre-compose and i'm gonna call this scene 3 so it's done as well